Let's see how we can add a DNS forwarder and why we need to do that in a 2019 Windows Server. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Control Panel simply by going to Search and typing in Control Panel since they took it out of the Start menu. And we'll go to Network and Sharing Center. Now we'll click on Change Adapter Settings. And we will make sure that the edited IPv4 address is pointing back to the local Active Directory DNS server, which is going to be your domain controller. Now, if this is pointed to a public address, such as this one here, which is Google's DNS server, then what's going to happen is, is that when you try to get any kind of resolution from a client, for instance, then it's going to look to the wrong place to find that resource. So you never want to have a public DNS server in either the client or the server's DNS settings. You always want to use the internal DNS for the domain controller. All right, so now that that's done, we want to go in and set up the DNS forwarder. So we go to Tools, and we go to DNS. And now we're going to right-click on our DNS server, which is our domain controller. And if you have more than one DNS server, you just need to uh, make sure you do this on each one. And now we'll click on the Forwarders tab. This is where we put in the public DNS server. Click OK. And we see it found its DNS Google. You can put in any DNS server that you like that's out on the Internet. So if a resource is internal, when a client tries to get to, for instance, a file server, then the domain controller, in this case DC1, will say, yep, here it is, it's internal. But if the client requests a public address, such as a website, then the domain controller DC1 will forward it on to the public DNS server. And that's the way you want to do it. Any other way, and you'll end up with delays, timeouts, uh, files that can't be opened, and other problems. So that's how you set up a DNS forwarder and why you want to do it in Windows Server 2019. And it also works in all other Windows Server versions all the way back to Windows 2000.